In this video, we'll see how to create a contact form in WordPress the easy way. Okay, so before proceeding further, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos. With that said, let's get started. To do so, come back to your dashboard. This is how your WordPress dashboard should look like. Now at the left hand side, you'll see something called appearances, hover appearances and click on add new because we want to add a new plugin. Now here search for WP forms and this is the plugin which you'll be using. So just click on install now. This has got more than 600,000 active installs and 1000 people has given it five star rating. So this is awesome. This is by WP forms. Okay, this is the logo as you can see over here. Now click on this activate button to activate this plugin. Okay, so you should see something like this over here. We don't want to do anything over here. Now at the left hand side, you will see a new thing over here, which would say WP forms. Now hover WP forms and click on add new. First, we'll have to give a name to our form. For example, you can just name it form one. Okay, now here what you want to create blank form, simple contact form, newsletter sign off form, suggestion form. Okay, you can see some additional templates over here. We want to create a simple contact form. So when you hover over this, you will see this button which would say create a simple contact form. Just click on that. By default, this is how this is what you should see name, last name, email address comments now here we can add or delete some section from here for example i don't want this section comment or message section so what i can do i can just click on this red button which would delete this field okay click on okay so we don't have that and if you want to add that field from here then you can select this paragraph text from here just click on paragraph text and you will see this thing coming over here and if you want uh, to make some changes over here you can just click on over here okay click to edit button now here you can make some changes label format so here the format is selected first and last name if you just want a single box for name you can select simple as you can see now we have a sing uh, single box and first and middle and last name then you can select the last one okay whatever you like i would select simple one okay whether you want to make it required field or not if you don't want to make it required field you can just untick this now we have some advanced for, uh, options over here, field size at present by default it is medium, you can make it small, okay and you can also make this small to uh, you know, bring all those things at uh, on the same line if you want, okay and you can also change the placeholder as you can see there is nothing uh, written, there is no placeholder uh, on this box so we can have a placeholder for example enter your name, okay so we can have a placeholder here if you want to hide label you can do so you can also add css classes custom css classes over here now here you have some field options fine now we want to make some changes over here in the email section so again when you hover this email section you will get this button click to edit and drag to the order so just click on that button okay here you can change this email label which says email from here so you can change this to mail address I'm just showing you how to do this okay as you can see now here it is written mail address you can add a description that is basically for you or you can show this over here also okay as you can see here it is written please enter your mail address fine so as you can see at the bottom there is a small line over here which says please enter your mail address which we just typed over here whether you want to make it required or not you can select it from here enable email conf uh, confirmation you can also do that so whenever someone enters their email address and after uh, they get a email on after they get a mail on their email address they'll get a code or something and they, they can paste that code over here so this is very useful okay again some advanced section you can increase the size from here you can have a placeholder for both the, the uh, email email placeholder and confirm email placeholder for example if, if you want to have a placeholder here you can put in enter code here okay as you can see over here okay and here also you can have some simple classes css classes now let's see the last one paragraph text again you can edit something over here for example enter your message you can type it over here fine 
here we have it enter your message it is not required if you can make it required and when we do required as you can see there is a red asterisk sign over here so which says that this field is required okay now let's come back to these fields okay so click on this add field over here now if you want to add some more fields you have name email multiple choices numbers check boxes drop down okay for example let's add a drop down over here okay so we just drag this thing over here now instead of drop down i'll type how did you hear about us now we have three different choices over here as you can see choice one choice two choice three you can add or subtract i want to add one more choice okay so as you can see when i clicked on that plus button i have the fourth the fourth choice now first one i'll just type in google okay this is youtube then word of mouth other define oh sorry so when someone now clicks on this we cannot do that but when it is live on the website they will get four different options okay now you can select a by default when you select this one so this will be the by default option which will be selected or if you select other 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 will be the by default option over here okay if you want to make it required you can do so now you can again click on this add fields if you want to add more fields this was the drop down field you can add a paragraph checkbox and so many different fields okay and these are at the bottom as you can see these fancy fields these are for premium users this file is locked for pro features so if you want to uh, you know enable this then you can purchase the uh, full theme this is the uh, free version okay but free version is also very good you don't need to purchase the full version this is really good really awesome okay now let's change this size to medium again okay now once you are done once you like everything you can also change this topic over here as you can see it says simple contact form you can just click on that and instead of simple contact form we'll type contact us fine click on save now click on embed once you click on embed you will see this small code over here what you have to do just copy this code okay cut this thing now from here x this thing out fine now let's add this form this contact form in any page or blog or you can add it anywhere whether sidebar blog page so let's add it on a play page contact us page Okay, so I have created a contact me page just click on edit okay as you can see it is blank now I'll be adding this contact form over here so there are two ways of doing this okay the first one is through copying and pasting that for uh, we just copy that uh, code over here so you just can uh, paste in that code or what you can do if you don't want to do this just delete this and here you'll see this button which says add form and select the one which you just created okay if you want to show the title just tick mark this show the title click on add form click on update now open this page in a new tab so open this link in a new tab okay as you can see over here we have you know we get different options whatever is compulsory we are getting this red mark over here okay and once you click on submit it will be sent to the address okay now again come back to your website the dashboard again go to that options where is that the wordpress wp forms click on wp forms because we forgot something over there okay just click on edit over here under contact us okay i forgot to say you a few things for example if you go to settings over here the first one we have already changed the form title to contact form okay you can also change the submit button text as you can see over here here it says submit so you can change this text to for example click here whatever you like okay and click on save to make some changes sending button uh, uh, submit button processing text when someone clicks on this uh, button and the thing is processing then button should say sending you can change this text also okay next option is the notification as you can see over here by default the email address is sent to the admin email address 
this is the email address where you will be getting notifications up when someone will uh, just fill in this contact form and click on this submit button you can enter your email address over here this is the subject so every time you'll get that mail this is this will be the subject new entry simple contact form you can change this subject also don't change these things for from from name from email address don't change these things okay now here also it will be all filled so make the you can just play around with these things the email address and the subject rest everything should be uh, as it is okay now the last option is confirmation okay so when their message has been successfully sent to you they'll get this confirmation okay thank you for contacting us we'll be in touch with you shortly so this is very useful okay so this is a message but why suppose you uh, if you have already created a mail uh, a page for thanking uh, for someone if they contact you then you can link this page over your show page and you can just uh, select any page over here okay and you can also redirect them to some different URL to some different website after they click on this submit button okay it's all up to you message is fine after you do so just click on save okay guys so this is how you create a contact form so this is it for this tutorial i hope this tutorial has helped you guys okay it was a free free plugin very useful plugin if this video has helped you then make sure you subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video that would really help me and i would really appreciate that if you guys have any queries any doubts then you or any request for any video you can leave a request or your doubt in the comment section below thank you for watching guys see you soon